Hi guys, this is Shay with Throw and Thimble, and today we are making bunting banners out of paper doilies. This is an easy and affordable way to decorate your space or for events. I'll also show you a variation for different size doilies. For this, you will need paper doilies, doesn't matter the size or color, ribbon or string, a pencil, scissors, and you may also need a hole punch depending on your doily. First, we will need to mark the center of the doily. You can, of course, measure it and calculate it that way, but I'll also show you guys another method. What I do is I fold it in half, but only really press down on the center part to mark it. I rotate it and fold it again, just pressing the center. This creates a creased X, and X marks the spot. I mark the center with a pencil to help it stand out. Next, we decide on how to divide our doily perimeter into even sections and mark these sections with a pencil all the way around. You can freehand this part, but I like to use a ruler to draw a faint pencil line to connect my sections to the center. You can start to see those triangle sections more clearly. Next, we cut out our triangles using scissors if your sections are in even numbers, you can cut your doily in half and then cut the rest of the sections with the two halves at the same time. Much faster to do it that way. Now, depending on the size of your doily, the process might look a little different. Here's a smaller silver doily, for example. In this case, we do our pencil marks on the plain side. So flip it over and we find the center exactly the same way and mark our sections in pencil. With this doily, there was an odd number of sections. So we cut each one out individually, no doubling up. Our sections are all cut up and ready to string. You can use any ribbon or string you like. You can add some color or texture that way as well. Cut your ribbon long enough to leave room at the ends to hang it up. Now, depending on your doily design, you may need to hole punch the corners at this point to make it easier to string. And then just weave your ribbon in and out the same way for all sections. This bunting adds a fun and romantic look to your decor. It's a great project for events like weddings or parties with a tea party theme or other kinds of events. The materials are so affordable, so this is great when you're working with a budget. And you don't have to leave your doilies white either. Feel free to add color with watercolors or a fun pattern using stamps. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my blog and Instagram in the description below for more crafty goodness. And subscribe so you don't miss any more DIY videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!